Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are taking you outside to have our first, actually our second breakfast here. So we are currently staying in Chukit in Kuala Lumpur that is pretty much next to the city center here in KL and also next to Bukit Bintang. So we're gonna go outside to see if we can get some breakfast, which I know we can because we're walking distance from so many different sites where we can pick up some good food here. So let's go outside guys and uh, come enjoy this food with us. <laughs> How was your first sip of the... What, is, what did you get? A latte? Yeah, it's a iced, caramel iced latte. But it, I'm sorry if I don't sleep tonight. But I think it's worth it because this was so good. I haven't had, a, I haven't had an iced latte in so long. Because it's, it's cold back then. Yeah, home, so exactly. Gonna do that. That's nice. Oh man, I'm coming back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm coming back to you, baby. I already smell it. Here's a man that does not drink coffee trying to taste my stuff. <laughs> I told you it was strong. Yeah, so the food recap. Uh, I paid 90 ringgit, which is, which is about like 17 or 16 or 17 dollars US. We'll put the actual conversion right there. So it was actually kind of like bougie breakfast because it yeah. wasn't like this like common folk like chicken rice that they eat here. What did you think of your food? I really liked my food. So I got the eggs and mash. What is it? Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. So it was a mix, it was a combination of um, lamb sausage with some salted beef. We had some corn grains in there and um, potatoes and an egg that was fried very wet. <laughs> it wasn't to my liking, but I actually really enjoyed it. So I'm actually glad that I tried. Okay, so we are officially at the entrance of Batu Caves and Batu Caves is actually one of the most popular Hindu shrines outside of India and it happens to be right here just outside of Kuala City or Kuala Lumpur City in Malaysia. So as you guys can see it's actually an amazing sculpture to the Lord Murgan who is an important deity in the Hindu culture and these steps actually lead to a natural um, cave monument area that we were just like excited to see because we actually passed by here yesterday and we're like you know what we're not gonna do this we need to see this for ourselves and actually be in awe because I only can imagine how amazing it looks so after this crazy climb um, we are gonna see truly magnificent natural beauty all right guys we are at the top of this climb it was like 250 ish steps or so I wasn't really counting I, I read about it <laughs> but um, it's steep. Every step is like high knee, high knee, and uh, it's. And there's a lot of boulders on the way. And by it's boulders, it's incredible. It's like I'm... raining right now. Yeah. Like right now, where we're standing is like raindrops are falling on us because it's I guess the cave. Um, but guys, there are so many animals, and by animals I mean monkeys that <laughs> live out here. They're little. They are hungry. They're absolutely curious and interested in every single thing that's happening and they're used to people feeding them and everyone's like, oh my god, look at the cute little monkeys. There's like a million monkeys here. Yeah. So if you're scared like us, be beware, but they won't bother you if you don't bother them. Yes. That was a lot to take in, spiritually, culturally, naturally, in every sense of the way. This was definitely um, a bucket list destination in Malaysia. Uh, if you're here, it literally costs two ringgit to, dri to drive into here. Two ringgit is about like 80 cents US. Um, this is absolutely one of the most affordable cultural journeys you will ever take. Um, and it's definitely worth every penny, I think. I agree. I guess it is laundry day. And I have a personal ironer. Yeah, so today we're going out to see many sites and to do many things. So, 
I'm deciding to wear this dress, even though I lost these things, but it's okay. But guys, the Airbnb that we're staying in, it's kind of like high tech, but low tech at the same time. <laughs> so the high tech is that we have an iron board inside a closet, right? You flip that out and boom, you have an iron board. The low tech part of it though, is that if you go here, you have a microwave your food, you open it here, you have to like dip up and put your food in through there, right? So, you know, a little engineering issue, but nothing that we can't get around, right? Just, I mean, just a design flaw. Just a minor design flaw, but overall this place is good, man. This place is like, it reminds me slightly of our apartment back home, but it's, it's just not our apartment. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, another thing, that bed is the equivalent of a tabletop. It is the equivalent of a tabletop because the bed does not bounce and the bed is like rock solid. So any back problems that you have, that bed will straighten them out because it's just so hard. But me and Simmons have gotten good sleep though on that bed. I think it's probably because we're so tired, right? Yeah. And the time difference and everything. And the time difference, but yeah, at least it's there, right? Everything that we could possibly need is definitely here in this apartment. Right, so I am officially the outfit daddy because like it's totally, totally giving everything it's supposed to give. But anyway, <laughs> what? Anyway, we didn't come here to talk about my amazing outfits or my amazing wife that picked out my amazing outfits. So we are going to see a different part of the city today. This city is a gift that keeps on giving. I promise you guys, it's never a dull moment. So the three things we have on the list today, number one is the Minara. It's sort of like a TV tower looking sculpture. Um, the no next thing after that is we're actually gonna go see Chinatown, which is in the historic old city KL. And hopefully, as long as we have time, we're gonna go see the butterfly garden and uh, see some amazing little insects that are actually pretty and we're not scared of. Okay, so the walk looks much closer on Google Maps. Um, but we didn't account for the fact that there's like these narrow snake-like hills and like I don't even know what you want to call it but it's it's a hike just to get to this tower so recommendation right. don't walk don't don't walk. like helicopter over here if you need to but the walk is not really giving what it's supposed to <laughs> are you good no I thought you want to live in a hot place I'm melting you're melting I get the pitch. oh no not the pits. I guess we are here, I think. It's so high up and it's super foggy. It's cool. It's We're cool. gonna just warm ourselves up to going into that um, skybox. And yeah, we're gonna uh, just walk around the sky deck first and then we'll go to the box, right? Yep, ready? That's it. Alright, so this is what's happening. Everybody's taking off their shoes and then heading into this box for their selfie opportunity. Yep, five minutes of pain. So, we are officially next on this line. How do I, you feel? My heart started beating. What is it? Good. <laughs> Good. Oh you have to come with me because. Alright, come. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, holding I hands. I, I don't know. Woo! Woo! Alright, uh, quick, quick reaction. Oh God, guys. Look where we are. Hold on. Wait, let me do it because you cover too much. This is where we are right now, guys. Like on the doom of death. On the brink of doom. And I can't believe that I'm out here, but I'm just not looking down because if I look down, everything is over. So, um. We're gonna take a quick selfie. It's worth doing, especially if you're afraid of heights, to conquer that fair, even if it's just for a minute, definitely try it out, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are going out on the second skybox. Just because we feel like we are brave now, right? Yeah. And we paid 220 to get so. Like, right, so. <laughs> one hundred for one skybox, the other hundred is for <laughs> the other skybox. Right. So we're going out there. Alright guys, second time's the charm. I'm just gonna hold on to the side rails this time. 
and give you guys an idea of where that was hot here we too. are walking. Oh god, I just looked there, down. You gotta get me now. I am still, still shell shocked by like being here. It is absolutely um, mind numbing to know that like there's literally nothing under me. Uh oh, uh oh, look who's coming, look who's coming. I think after this don't look down, don't look down, just look up. Look up, just look up, just look up, just look up. <laughs> come on, come on, Avili. All right, come on, one more step. Baby oh steps, baby steps, God. baby steps. Come I'm on. looking down, oh, oh. I'm looking down. <laughs> All right, guys, we <laughs> new fear conquered, all right? Okay, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> all right, guys, it is actually pretty amazing to be here. I don't feel that scared, although my legs are shaking a little bit, but the view is beautiful. I mean, this is one of the tallest buildings in the world. I think the second tallest. And um, yeah, it's just completely awesome. But if you look under me, it's not that awesome. And I'm like still kind of hanging off the ledge. So I am out. <laughs> How do you feel? <sighs> Tingling. Tingling? Alright, ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go home. <laughs>